Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example for an undrained total stress analysis case. We do that by finding E subscript U, V subscript U. We then find the change in stress in the X, Y, and Z direction, and then we can find the strains in the X, Y, and Z direction. So just to provide some context, the question we're doing is for an undrained case, and we're just looking at a total stress analysis. That was the part A. Uh, in the next video, we'll do the same, exactly the same question, but do an effective stress analysis and see that both methods provide the same answer. So now we're just going to be doing total stress though. So let's say we have a cube specimen of soil. So this is in three dimensions. And we get initial, initial um, stresses of EX equaling, sorry, of uh, sigma X equaling 100. This is in KPA. Sigma Y equaling 100, and we'll make Sigma Z equal 100 as well. Let's then increase and decrease these values. So let's go like this. So say we were given that the new values now, so this is the initial, and now we've done something to it, such that EX, sorry, Sigma X now equals 80, Sigma Y now equals 110, and Sigma Z now equals 120. So you can see that some values have increased and some values have decreased. Now the first thing we need to do for our undrained case, and because we're doing a total stress analysis, we know for a total stress analysis, we need to use VU and EU. So now say we're given though, E dash equals 5 MPA, and V dash equals 0 0.2. We can't use these values for an, a total stress analysis. We could use it for an effective stress analysis, but not for a total stress analysis. So the first thing we need to do is find the right values. We know that VU is always 0.5, so that's fine, but we now need to find EU. So we know the formula in the previous video, 